down uh, into single digits for the sustained speeds. This is not good news at night when you have clear skies because those two combinations together plus the dry air mean temperatures really start to drop and that's what's going to allow us to move to the 30s and potentially uh, see some patchy frost as we head towards tomorrow morning. So the good news about the clearing skies, even though it's not going to help us temperature wise tonight, is we are going to start with sunshine tomorrow and that's the way we're going to finish as well. In fact, the map shows us that it's start to finish sunshine uh, as we go through Wednesday. Even Thursday looks pretty good, at least for about two thirds of the day. Once we get into the afternoon, let's call it the late afternoon, early evening. That's when the clouds start increasing. There's another cold front that's going to be coming through, but this one's not going to make it through until Thursday night, mainly after midnight, going into early parts of Friday. Just a few showers with that front. Some of those could linger into Friday morning's commute, but they won't last long. Most of Friday is going to be dry, but temperatures start going the other direction as we head towards the upcoming weekend. So today, 71 may be as good as it gets uh, for this forecast. Here are the lows tonight. We'll wake up to temperatures in the upper 30s in the city. 39 in Detroit, 38 uh, for the official low there in Romulus. South zone, mainly 30s. We may be able to hold on to a 40 degree number out here towards the lake as we get started. And the further inland you get, especially some of these rural areas, uh, if you've got some of those low lying spots that are prone to frost, that's what we're going to see with temperatures that are only two degrees away from freezing out here. 34 in Howell, Fenton and Flint. As we wake up tomorrow morning, north zone lows are going to be in the mid 30s all across the area. 38 will be the warmest spot there in the zone, and that's going to be in Rochester Hills. Now, despite that cold start, we're still going to get to 66 in the afternoon, and that's above average for this time of year. The warmest number is going to be on Thursday at 68, and then we start seeing those numbers fall as we head into the upcoming weekend. 50s for highs both Saturday and Sunday. Most of that's going to be dry. Some evening rain Saturday going into Sunday. Don't forget tomorrow, our first severe weather alert radio day is in Ann Arbor.